Chemicals on board. Introduction. Everything around us and within us has a chemical composition. Each chemical has a property which can be useful or harmful depending upon the situation. While we need to use chemicals to our advantage, their misuse can cause dangerous situations leading to personal injuries, fires, excessive corrosion, etc. Some of the properties of chemicals we need to be concerned about are acidity, alkalinity, reactivity, and toxicity. Chemicals on board come in liquid or powder and sometimes in gaseous state and used for following. Changing and controlling properties of cooling water for diesel engines. Changing and controlling properties of boiler water. Fuel treatment. Cleaning parts. Risks involved while working with chemicals. Splash on parts of the body, eyes and clothes leading to chemical bumps on unprotected skin. Leak from the containers. Spill. Fumes, and hailed. Fire due to chemical reaction. Precautions necessary while handling chemicals. Understanding risks involved in each chemical read instructions on the container. Understand first aid if there is an accident. Proper storage to prevent contact with other substances. Using proper container. Ensuring that the containers are not leaking. Proper handling. Use of personal protective gear while handling chemicals. Rubber gloves. Goggles. Apron. Face mask. Storage of chemicals. Ships are required to keep chemicals on board for use during the voyages. Care should be taken while stowing them to prevent accidents. Chemicals are kept in special storage rooms on board a ship. Such store room having chemicals should have the properties. The room should have sufficient lighting. Lamps in the room should be mounted such way that they do not provide any heat to the chemicals stored in the room. Shelves on which packages of chemicals are placed should be made in such way that leaks from chemical containers easily visible. Also, the shelves should be made such way that leaks from one container having chemical will not fall on the other container below it. There should be some means of fixed firefighting appliance provided in the room. The storage room should have arrangement for proper ventilation. The storage room should have mechanism to be secured and locked to prevent unauthorized person entering the room.